prophecy. So we are in this time already. I'm happy and honored to be in here in this part of the world and uh, to share with you my brothers from north, the land of the eagle, the condor and the eagle we will breed us together. And the eagle, and this comes out of the out of the Amazon way back thousands and thousands of years ago. Nobody has any idea of when this prophecy started, but it worked its way up into the Andes and up into the Central America, the Mayan, Aztec uh, cultures, and, and up into the Hopi culture, and right up through North America, across the Bering Straits, you find remnants of it in, 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 in the Asian steppes. And it basically says that back in the midst of history, human societies decided to go on two different paths. One was the path of the condor, which is really the path of the heart, of the intuition, uh, of, of the feminine path, if you want to. And the other was the path of the eagle, which is the path of the mind, of the science, of the industrial, perhaps you could say even of the masculine, and they went their separate routes. And then at one period of history it was forecast, thousands of years ago it was, it was prophesied that during what is known as the Eighth Pachacuti, a Pachacuti is a 500 year period, which would begin in the 1490s, the eagle peoples would become so powerful that they would practically drive the condor people into extinction. And we know this happened after Columbus uh, the, the, the industrial people, the people of science, practically drove the indigenous people into extinction. But the prophecy goes on to say that during the next Pachacuti, 500-year interval, beginning in the 1990s, we would arrive at a time with the potential for the two to come together, for the eagle and the condor to fly in one sky, to mate, to dance together, and to create a whole new level of consciousness. Coincidence for us, everything has a purpose breathing together people, uh, uniting hearts, uniting the love, raising the love of uh, humanity, of, uh, of our sacred mother earth, the universe, the light that shines us every day, what we call in our language the time of Pachacute, time of transformation.